Welcome back to the first full video in our new studio. If you missed that video of us building the studio, go ahead and click up here, check it out. Now, today we have a great video. We have a new shop or a new studio and what we need is a better computer. Now the old computer, it was, it's junk. You know, Jimmy had a bunch of pieces laying around. I had a couple monitors. We just threw it together. It's slow, it's clunky, it's very old. So we've been planning this for a while. We've bought these parts over time. You know, we got a nice new case. We haven't, it's not a, the most cutting edge technology. We have a very nice gigabyte board. They're probably one of the best brands out there. We got, you know, I have an old power supply. It's still a great thermal take, but it's not quite, you know, that impressive, but it'll work for what we need. The graphics card and the processor are built into one. You know, we got RAM, we got a cheaper hard drive. You know, it's it's not, it's a budget build, uh, but it's gonna work. You know, we're gonna look up manuals for stuff, maybe mine some Dogecoin. You know, we, we had to get in on it because it's, it's fun. A new shop computer. So with that said, let's jump right into the build. Let's build us a shop computer. All right, we went ahead and opened the case and unfortunately we made a boo-boo and we <laughs> the audio wasn't recording. That was our fault, but we wanna show you this satisfying clip and you'll see why. So take a look at this clip. It's just, oh, so satisfying. You, you can't help but love taking protective film off of glass. So we thought this was uh, plexiglass, but it ended up being glass, which I think is much better. It's gonna look a lot better. It won't scratch as easy. So now that we have the case open, we're gonna go ahead and throw the power supply in it because it has cable management. And so we need to route all the cables first. It has all the standoffs already installed for the motherboard. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into that. So let's get started. So I don't know if you, ever, you couldn't hear last time, but this has RGB lights. There's two in the front and then one in the back also. Yes, so sir so it'll uh, look pretty. Something else I wanna mention is at the top of this thing, there's this little magnetic, what you wanna call it, film or cover screen that you can wash off if it gets coated with dust, it's like a filter. I have one of these on my case in my house and it, it's actually, uh, it's amazing, it's awesome, I love it. I'm very impressed so far. They even provided screws, case screws for, you know, power supply and everything. Uh, motherboard. So far, so good. All right, we're gonna flip this thing over and install the motherboard and then run all our cables. This thing is great. It has SATA cables for the hard drives. It has motherboard cables. Um, for the RGB light pl uh, head plug. Yeah, RGB cables. I mean, this is great. USB 3.0 for the front. Yeah, that plugs in up there. Yeah, this is, this is great. I really like this case for a budget case. This yeah, is, yeah. This is really good. All right, it's time to install the motherboard. All right, the digger, the, the digger, 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 digger. <laughs> The, the Gigabyte B450M. Uh, too many numbers. Too many numbers. It's going to work. Yeah, boy. How about your standoffs? Are they all? Yep, they're good. Perfect. Yep, they're good. Nice. Need to. Now, we've been in IT for quite a while. <laughs> I think between us, we probably have 40 years experience, so we're not too worried about messing anything up. Uh, we, we know what we're doing. So that looks great. 
two more screws and this board will be installed. Looking good, looking good. Okay, motherboard's installed. Now we're gonna start routing all of our cables from the power supply. All right, we went ahead and got all the wires kind of in line where we want them. Now it is cable managed. We're gonna go ahead and start putting all the other components in. So we're gonna go ahead and just show clips of that while we're doing it, and then we'll meet up with you when we're done. Wrong. <clears throat> well, everything. <laughs> We've been fighting all day with, with this motherboard and we thought the power supply, maybe it went bad. So we tested it with another motherboard and it worked. So we thought maybe uh, it only had four pins instead of eight pins for the CPU. So we figured that was probably it. So we ran to Best Buy, grabbed another power supply a 600 watt power supply that had the correct connector, brought it home, plugged it in, still nothing. So we think the board is fried from the factory. We've taken it out of the case to make sure that it wasn't uh, shorting on something and still nothing happening. So the board is bad. DOA and so we're going to swap that out. We're going to return this one. We've already ordered another one. So as soon as it gets here, we'll start up again and finish this whole project, and then we'll have our shop PC. So nothing is ever easy, but we're still gonna persevere and we're going to get this fixed and we're gonna make it work. So stay tuned until five seconds from now. Well, it's been a couple days. Um, as you noticed earlier in the video, we had a DOA board. I've never had a Gigabyte motherboard go bad but we ordered a new one. This one is actually the version two board. I already made the other one off or we'll get a replacement. We may build a second computer to mine some type of cryptocurrency. I don't know. Just something we've been talking about playing with with the other one, but um, we're gonna go ahead and open this one up, put it down here in this case and slap in the processor and the RAM. Let's open this thing up. All right, we put that brand new motherboard in. We verified it works. Um, you saw the lights all come on. Um, we actually, off camera, we went into the BIOS, made a couple changes just to make sure everything was fine. Uh, the board's- he tried to put on his stickers. Yeah, I put my stickers on crooked. They, they really suck, look how crooked they are. They're crooked. Oh, well. So 
anyway, we're going to go ahead and install our operating system. I don't know if you can see the screen over here. Can you see that in the shot, D? We will in just a second. Ready, set. All right. Now you can see everything. Yeah, now we got it all moved over. So we're going to go ahead and turn it on. Well, we need to, we need to install Windows. I went ahead and downloaded um, Windows Media Creation tool, and I burnt Windows 10 ISO. We have a real key here we're going to install. So USB 3.0, we're going to see if it'll boot. We haven't changed any boot settings in the BIOS. We may have to go in there and do that. But All right. here we go, first light. All right, uh, we got, um, we went ahead and got Windows 10 installed. We put our product key in. We went ahead and put the computer on our five uh, gigahertz Wi-Fi here in the shop. Got it uh, ready for use pretty much. There might be a couple other drivers we may need to tweak on and install, but for the most part, we got it set up. So for a budget build, this, this is a nice computer. We got the lights in it, RGB. Um, wasn't that expensive of a build. Um, if you want to build something like this for yourself, we're going to put all the uh, links in the description below. So maybe if you want the case or the hard drive or just a little piece, go check it out. We'll list it down there for you. And so if you want to build you one, go ahead and check out the links down below. Um, we originally had a really old computer in the shop and we thought that we might as well, since we built the new studio, we're going to build a new one. We're probably going to be running um, some crypto mining <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know if we're going to do that or not but um, a 3d printer we've, we've got one of those sitting over there the other computer just wasn't very good at 3d printing so um, we may try our hand at 3d printing some rc parts or all right well that's it for our budget build that we did here for the shop and uh, i think that's going to be the end of the video and we'll catch you on the next one be empowered out of here